Abby Waddle just stole a piece of pizza. Yes. She's a savage. But we told her she could. And she touched that piece, so that is hers. <laughs> it is all you, Abby. Yes. <laughs> Putnam County League, very interesting this year. Pandora Gilboa is still the team to beat. They have already got uh, the win over Ottoville. Uh, Fort Jennings having a great season, big win yeah, tonight. Yeah, Fort Jennings a huge win tonight over Ottoville this evening, a game that actually was 15-10 Ottoville after one, but a 14-0 run to start the second quarter. Huge for Fort Jennings, and they really wanted this game, especially with Keith Thupendorf yeah. across the way now um, at Ottoville, that 2.8-mile trip, but across <laughs> the uh, gym floor tonight. Huge win. Brandon Weary didn't get the 1,000 points that he's looking for, but he'll probably get that to tomorrow night against New Knoxville. Huge win uh, in the PCL for uh, the Musketeers. Ottawa Glandorf continues to score points and continues to really set the pace at the start of a game. You know, I was doing some research earlier this week, looking at the districts around our area and was spotlighting the D3 Lima district. And they're going to be the obvious one seed here in a couple weeks. But after tonight's win over Shawnee, they are now average margin of victory and even 20 points. Wow. Yeah. They're they tough. are whopping people. They still got some games left. Otto Glandorf, Wapakoneta. So we'll see how those go. But Absolutely. the Titans certainly can score in many different facets, and that pressure really gets the teams. Fun team to watch, too. No question about it. Aaron Matthews, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll finish strong.